last meeting is okay with you. So today you will do something new, maybe. Uh, this method is got discovered by the teacher was and now it's let's say it will be uh, uh, easy for you also to apply this one. So we start first of all if it is given two numbers a times b, the question is try to find the product of these numbers. First of all, boys, I will suppose that n is the nearest number. I will write here n. Then here I will write the orders n minus b. This is n minus b always, and this one is n minus a. So to find the product of a b, I will make a minus n minus b. I will make a minus n minus b between parentheses multiply by the the number that I rounded to multiply by n plus the product of these numbers. This is the formula of the mathematics teacher, and this method is done for you for the terms and slip of the mountain by doing this proof. Okay? Plus n minus a multiply by n minus b. Okay. Now learners, I will start for example, Mr. Taha told me Murad, how can we? Multiply 19 by 18, for example. Some students they will face some difficulties while doing these examples. So it's easy here. 18 is near to 20. I will write here 20, isn't it? Therefore, 18 plus 1 gives 20. 18 plus 1 gives 20. Two. Good boy. I will write here two. 19 plus 1 gives 20. One. One. Therefore, I can start like that. 19 minus 2 is what? 19 minus 17. 2. 17. 17. I will write here. 17. Multiply by my rest. Yes, number which is 20 plus the product of 1 multiplied by. Good. 1 multiplied by 2. Therefore, double 17 is what? Forget about this zero because you are going to annex this zero. Okay? It's 34. Yes, 34. I will write 34. Then shall I annex this one? No. It will be 340. Plus 1 into 2. two. Yes. Therefore, the last answer is what? 342. Another example, learners, I will put here, for example, 98 multiplied by 97. My God. Happened 98 in somewhere. 97. How can we do this one? So, the nearest number to 97 is what? 100. I will write here. 100. Don't forget about this number. You will use this one. Therefore, 98 plus what gives us 100? Yes, plus 2 is left. And 97 plus what gives 100? 3. Therefore, I will make here, Mr. So, that I will make 79 minus 17, 97, sorry, 97 minus, yes, learners, minus, minus who is what? Six, uh, 5. 95 multiplied by 100. 100, excellent. Plus 2 multiplied by, okay, 2 multiplied by 3. So this is. 95 multiplied by 1 is 95, then annex how many zero? 2. Double zero. Plus 2 into 3 is 6. six. The last answer is what numbers? 2905. Uh, yes, 9506. Okay. Now, one student will tell Mr. Murad this method is symmetrical. It's symmetric. Well, let's check. We did here the first row like that, isn't it? I will try to do the next one. I will write here 98 multiply by 97. This is 100 that I will talk. You should put it into configuration. Never forget this one. Therefore, 97 plus 3. 98 plus 2. Okay. Now I will make it like that. The first we did like that, isn't it? Well, I will see if it's symmetrical or not. Of course, it should be symmetrical. Okay. Therefore, 98 minus 3 is 95. Is it the 
same as this? Yes. 95. Multiply, sorry, is it the same as this? Yes. 95. Multiply by what? 100. By 100. Then plus the product of 2. Yes. Plus 2 multiplied by 2. <coughs> this is given as what? Well, this gives is 9,900 9,500 plus 6. The last answer is 9,506. And 6. Did you get the point? Yes. This method, you can apply this method to you, your guest brother. And also while being, let's say, all the learners, you can also use this one. Thank you for listening. Now we start our lesson. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah.